Happy Friday, everyone. This is Dr. Ray Heiss at Revive Sport and Spine. We're coming to you with part two of our four part series leading up to the St. George Marathon. We are three weeks away and we've got three more tips we want to share with you today. Tip number one if you're thinking about running in some shiny new running shoes, it's time to head down to our friends at Wasatch Running Center and pick that pair up. We've got three weeks to break them in. The last thing you want to do is run a marathon in some brand new shoes. So wear them around town, get a few short runs in them, and start breaking them in. Tip number two, if last week wasn't, this week should be your last long run. Let's continue to focus to make sure we're getting enough energy, we're hydrating well, and we're focusing on how we're feeling 18 to 20 miles into a run. Another question I've actually had this week from some uh, patients that this is their first marathon is how to handle the aid station to make sure they don't walk towards the end of the race. My best advice to you guys that this is maybe your first or your second marathon is to walk through the aid stations. That way you get a good drink, you can grab some Gatorade, you can grab some shot blocks and making sure you're getting enough energy. Tip number three, after this weekend's long run, it's time to start your taper. Most people are gonna have a pretty good plan of how and when they're gonna run during the taper and how they're gonna start cutting their mileage down. But one thing I wanna address is your diet. This is a time to heal, recover, get ready for the race. So we need to make sure that we're eating clean, getting a good amount of protein, but that we're also not consuming so many calories like we're running a 50, 60, or 70 mile week. Thank you for checking out these videos. We hope they're helpful in your training. If you're having any nagging issues, please give us a call, 801-944-1855. We've still got three weeks to get you ready for race day. Also, if you have any questions you want us to address about training, injury prevention, anything like that, please leave us a comment below this video, and we'll do our best to address that in next week's video. So get out there, get running, and we'll talk to you next week.